Traditional Persian Traditional Persian is one of several names for a group of cats that are considered to be essentially the original breed of Persian cat, before the variety was selectively bred to have extreme features. Other everyday usage names are, Dow Face Persian, Classic Persian, Old Fashioned Persian, Long Nosed Persian, Old Style Long Hair, Traditional Long Hair, and Original Long Hair. The physical appearance of this domestic cat breed barely changed when compared to photos dating back to the late 1800s. However, since some breeders in the United States and other parts of the world introduced the brachycephalic mutation into the breed, the short nose and clear break became shorter and higher. This resulted in the modification of the original Persian breed standard so that modern show quality Persians must have peak faces. This resulted in the breed disappearing from cat shows. However, this older form of Persian cat is immortalized in popular films like You Only Live Twice, Enter the Dragon, and, briefly, the Austin Powers movie franchise, which otherwise showcases the Sphinx breed. Dot. Some ultra-typed, peak face or flat nose Persian develop some problems such as teary eyes, breathing problems and undershot jaws. Origin Persian cats originate from Persia, Iran. The cats were introduced in Europe in the 1500s as highly valued items of trade. The Europeans were impressed by the Persians' long silky coat and purposefully bred the cats to perpetuate the trait. Genetic Mutations in Persians Two mutations of note influenced the Persian cats, the color inhibitor gene, 1882, that gave rise to the so-called chinchilla coat and the brachycephalic mutation, circa 1942, that gave rise to the so-called peak-faced or snub-nosed Persian cats. Chinchilla Color Mutation The color inhibitor gene mutated in a Persian cross in 1882 in the UK in a cat called Chini. The offspring of this mutation that express the gene are commonly known as chinchillas presumably due to the resemblance of their coat to that of the rodent by that name. They were classified as a Persian variety for breeding purposes. Dot. Brachycephalic Mutation The brachycephalic mutation in the Persian breed occurred during World War II in the US. This led to a concerted effort to breed Persians with rounder heads and smaller ears than their ancient ancestors after World War II. The resultant brachycephalic heads lead to the much desired snub noses favored by many modern Persian breeders and which dictates the modern standard for Persians and cat fancies throughout the world. Color Breeding in Chinchilla Varieties The subset of Chinchilla varieties experienced problems during the brachycephalic modernization phase with regards to the original Chinchilla coloring features. These included loss or incomplete lip and nose liners, patched colored paw pads and eye color faults. Once lost, it is hard if not impossible, to recover. By the mid-1950s, concerned breeders of chinchilla in the U.S. advocated pure color breeding. A key person in this regard was Jean Ramsdale, author of the book Persian Cats and Other Long Hairs. Dot. Breed Recognition History Up Till 2010 Despite the non-conformance to the modern Persian breed standards, some breeders, and in particular those that practiced controlled color breeding, continued to breed and register their original long hair cats. The following attempts were made to restore the original long hairs as breed in their own right, namely Sterling Standard There is some confusion around the name Sterling Cat. In the International Cat Association TICA, there were some American short hair breeders who bred to Persians to obtain their lovely silver color and green eyes. The kittens were pretty to look at but did not meet the true American short hair type. Jane Martin noticed the effect the outcrosses had on the American type and coat as well as the attractiveness of the kittens. She proposed a new breed, called the Sterling because of their lovely silver color. These new cats were to look just like Persians but with a short, dense plush coat. The name was changed to Exotic Short Hair when all colors got accepted in 1979. In September 1992 the English Sterling as a new breed was presented by Jean Johnson at the Tika 13th annual meeting. Follow-up work resulted in the breed with the name Sterling, without English in front, was accepted as Category 1 Antica in February 1994. Category 1 Antica means established breeds, the Sterling had Category 1 status only for 18 months, before it was scrapped in total by Tika in September 1995. The assumed reason is that there was a lack of buy-in from enough fellow breeders as required by Tika breed recognition rules. Despite this setback, Jeannie Johnson continued by getting the Sterling accepted by the International Cat Exhibitors ICE, for championship status in 1998. The breed had its own registry under the International Sterling Society. 
However, not many breeders of Chinchilla Persian elected to switch over from the existing Persian standard to the new Sterling standard. Mrs. Johnson died in 2006 before she could get wider buying for the breed. Due to lack of support, this Sterling breed does not exist anymore. Chinchilla Long Hair Standard In South Africa, all breeds cat judge and Chinchilla breeder Stella Slabber, headed up a project to separate the breed from the modern Persian standard. This standard was only to be applicable to color-bred silvers, commonly known as chinchillas in South Africa. The breed was accepted under the name Chinchilla Longhair with breed code CHL in the SA Cat Council SACC, in 1996. Traditional Longhair Standard for Silver and Golden Varieties A global standard for the traditional longhair silver and golden, shaded and tipped varieties was accepted by the WCF in August 2010. The breed proposal was compiled in Cape Town by Alida Delport. The facilitator of the breed recognition process was Dr. Johan Lomprecht, who also did the breed proposal presentation at the WCF. Nestle Purina sponsored the breed recognition show due to these cats being the brand animal used in their cat food advertisements worldwide. The initial standard that was proposed at the WCF breed recognition show, June 19, 2010 in Cape Town, was based on the SAC standard with a request to include the golden varieties. After consultation with the chairperson of the WCF Standard and Judges Commission, Cornelia Hungerecker, the breed name was changed to Tradition Long Hair. One other minor differentiation was that the eye shape should read walnut shaped instead of round. Breed Recognition History Post 2010 Traditional Long Hair Standard for All Persian Color Varieties the 2010 standard for traditional long hair silver and golden varieties was extended by the World Cat Federation WCF, in 2012 to include all Persian color varieties. WCF breed name changed to original long hair. In 2014 the World Cat Federation WCF, changed the name traditional long hair to original long hair. Projects to extend the breed recognition to more WCC members. The World Cat Congress promotes better understanding and cooperation among the world's major cat associations in matters of mutual interest and concern. It has nine members. In 2014, after a webinar, a project was started to obtain breed recognition of the original long hair in all WCC members. This will take several years and lots of effort.